Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. What I have here is a double page layout. It's for Let's Scrap Sketches. And right now I have some photos from a kitchen remodel that I printed out and I'm trying to um, get them backed on this uh, yellow paper. Now, even though um, I sped this up quite a bit, it still looks, um, you know, pretty slow because my process when I'm actually scrapping is really slow. So I really had to speed this up like four times. <laughs> All right. So right now I'm just getting that backed um, on some co uh, contrasting paper. And I know I'm a little off screen with the cutting, but I'm really just trimming down the photo after I back it um, on another on another um, piece of pattern paper. And later on, you're going to see um, where I made this banner a little bit skinnier than it was in the sketch. Um, and it's a little off screen, but all I did was uh, on one side to make the banner, I just cut it in the middle and then came in with a diagonal so I just did that by hand so it's not perfect okay and right here um, the page just looks a little empty and I have these uh, flowers that I cut out of some of the other paper and I'm just kind of auditioning the pieces around the photos to see if I like the way they look and ultimately in the end these flowers don't make it on the left side of the layout so I'm just still going around trying to do that and then I give up on that page and start on the um, second page and sorry about the dead space as I'm just flipping through the pack trying to uh, figure out what sheet I want to use for this um, for the second page all right so I settled on that um, kind of a uh, yellow sheet and I'm also backing it on that same stripe to kind of complement what's going on on the left side it's amazing how much uh, dead space there is in between even though I did speed this up four times very slow crafter <laughs> okay with these two smaller photos I didn't even go off screen and cut these I just grabbed the scissors that I had next to me and just started trimming them that way and I'm also going to go ahead and you'll see I'm going to back them on that same stripe paper I'm inking up the edges um, with um just with the uh, Tim Holtz distress ink uh, I think that was vintage photo now you see the two I'm just kind of placing the uh, the pages next to each other and I'm still um, off screen I, I cut those pendants and added them in if you can see them down on the bottom and at the top of the right page and again I'm coming in with those flowers and trying to see if um, oh and I'm just committing to the to the uh, banners now and I'm just trying to get the placement right on the left side And then you see that those flowers on the right side are not completely down. I'm still kind of playing around with them, trying to see, you know, if I like the way they look. And 
And I start putting in my title, um, which is before and after. Um, and I think um, I actually go off screen, um, stop recording and pick up again after. Um, I didn't want to make you sit there while I put all these letters down. Okay, and we're back and you can see there that I'm just adding in the R to the title um, for after. And um, I ultimately ended up putting those two flowers um, in the bottom right of the after photo. And I think I'm going to try again <laughs> to see if I like um, any of the others that I cut out. And um, ultimately, uh, that one doesn't make it either. And um, the only thing, so the next thing that, I, that I'm going to show you is the sketch that I was working from and the final layout. Um, and I just did um, a little bit of uh, like little white splatters um, off screen that I didn't record. And so if you enjoyed this process video, um, I hope that you'll give me a, a, a like and subscribe to my channel. And um, as always, thank you for watching.